guess somebody didn't want their clothes anymore. San Diego's Jazz 88.3, Julian Lodge with uh, Taylor Eichstein. I knew it. From the sounding point of view. Just... This week has shaped up to be just an insanely busy week. I'm stoked about that. It's a lot of music, so I knew I'd have these two rehearsals coming in <clears throat> to, uh, tonight and then again Thursday. And then Saturday is kind of wacky. I'm trying to figure out how to uh, be at two places at once with shows and a rehearsal. And then I just got contacted to go in and play Avenue Q again Friday night. This time on bass, though, and not guitar. If it was guitar, would have been one thing, but now it's bass, so yeah, I know the music and stuff, but I haven't even seen the bass books, so I'm gonna pick up the bass book tomorrow, start figuring out, uh, start looking at it and stuff. I mean, it, it'll be fine, it'll be easy to pick up and everything, but, you know, there's some tasty licks in the bass book, so I'll have to shed a little bit. And then I have a bunch of running around to connect with some subs for different things that I've had for the kids' show, and then this other one coming up, and just... And borrowing instruments, and it's just kind of, it's just gonna be all kinds of wacky. But life is good. I like being busy, you know that. And I love playing music, you know that. So it's a cool week. It also just dawned on me, as I sat down to edit yesterday's vlog, I kind of took last night off, I'm sorry, I know, I was trying to do a hundred days in a row of all of this, but I cheated a little bit with that New York, New York Part 3. I was just a quick little talking to my phone straight to YouTube video. Because, you know, it just, the traveling stuff got to me, I, it, you know, it happens. And, uh, and then yesterday I just kind of, I took the night off. Tired from traveling, tired from running around right after we got back to go pick up the book in Carlsbad, and then I had that other meeting, and I just decided to take the night off. Now, I didn't skip on the vlogs, I posted today's, which was kind of the culmination of the, you know, two, the last two days in New York, and now I'm going to post one from yesterday, so today we'll have two vlogs. But I'm posting them both, so I'm still doing a vlog for every single day. It just happened that two were posted one day and one day didn't have any. Anyway, as I sat down to do this, I realized that this, what I'm filming right now, is my 100th vlog. I've done this 100 days in a row. I've posted 100 videos. This is my 100th video, and that's insane. That's insane! I've done this every single day for 100 days. If you listen to the About podcast that I did with uh, Josh, Sandy, and Davey, you heard us talking about it, and Josh made a comment, like, I don't think, this was back when I had only done 64 or something, he said, I don't know if I've ever done anything 64 days in a row, except for sleep, and I don't even know if that's true. <laughs> and holy cow, I think a lot of vloggers make a real big deal out of getting to 100. I didn't realize today would be 100, I didn't plan to do anything fun, I didn't, I, other than talk about it right now, I mean, I'm not going to do anything about it. Maybe we'll celebrate 200, in big style. <laughs> But anyway, happy 100th episode to me, happy 100th episode to you if you're watching. Have any of you watched every single one of them besides my wife? If you've watched every single one, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button right now because I want to get some more subscribers, I want to keep growing, let's make this channel bigger. I'm stoked to keep going, you know, I, I had a goal to get to 100 and see how I felt after that and right now I can't imagine stopping, so I'm just going to keep going until I get seriously bored with myself, or until you guys get seriously bored with me, we're gonna keep it up. Keep it moving.